Hey YouTube, my name is Craftman780 and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today will be episode 2 of my 1.13 TARDIS tutorial series. So I tried recording a, another uh, version of this I guess uh, and my mic was muted and I for some reason couldn't figure out why and I ended up unmuting my mic and that ended up fixing the problem. So, yeah. Anyway, what we're going to be doing today is we are, nope, not that, we are going to be making time circuits and weather circuits. So let's start on one thing at a time. So, here, for example, will be the time circuits. But as I said before, let's start on one thing at a time. So let's grab an item frame, plop that on the console, go to tools, grab a clock, plop that on the console, and this will be basically what controls the time. So in essence, this repeater, if it's set to like two ticks, for example, uh, there's really only four stages of the day essentially dusk no uh dawn noon dusk and midnight so dawn noon dusk midnight and this button here will be to actually set the time and then there'd be a button here to pause the time or restart it i could put it behind here uh i'm actually gonna go ahead and like update this real quick because like i don't want the glass panes connecting so let's grab a quartz block like so do this kind of just double it up and then not a block of gold I really haven't explored the new textures much Uh, but the block of gold? Oh, I actually like that. Looks nice. Yeah, the block of gold looks cool, so let's grab a white stained glass pane. And then, if we wanted, we could put an item frame back there and a clock and make that an actual monitor. Like that. But we're not really going to do that. And like if we, for example, wanted to put like little messages on like signs or whatever, we could. Um, but yeah, so let's get to work on the commands. So this will be slash execute if not blocks block get the coordinates, repeater, powered equals false, facing equals, in this case, south, locked equals false, and delay equals one. So let's do that. Let's come out here. And in fact, let's actually make another little kind of control, a uh, really simple one. So it'll be here, and this will be the locking down mechanism. Uh, you know, let's actually save this, put it in a command block, grab a sign, and call that repeater. and let's do this here slash execute if block boom 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 stone button powered equals true facing or er, face equals floor 
facing equals north. And there we go. So that will be the button or the locking down mechanism in this case. And that will actually be another command block because I just remembered another command I want to add. Or, uh, nope. Button. And then. <sighs> Sorry. Sneeze there. Uh, there will be a, another lever, uh, like here or something, and that will be the locking down mechanism, which will be facing to, I think, the north now. Uh, nope, south. Okay. So let's do this slash execute if block coordinates lever. Face equals, in this case it would be the floor, facing equals south, and powered equals true. So let's go ahead and do this. What I want to do is add um, like redstone things that only need like one like command block to actually function like this so I can extend the redstone line and like add more stuff uh, let's grab that uh, grab that that would be the time rotor handbrake and while we're here let's do this Engaged. Let's go just clear that. Boom, get rid of that. F3 and D to clear the chat. Nope, not redstone. Well, no, I really don't need it. Boom, get that. Bam, bam. Uh, facing south. Powered equals false. Just like that. Boom. And there we go. So now, when we go back and put the switch, Time order handbrake has been. Oh no! In this case, I want it to be disengaged. So let's actually switch these. Disengaged. Nope. Capital E. Engaged. There we go. F3 and D. Clear the chat. And now this will work sort of properly. Okay, uh, I think what I needed to do was actually reset the redstone. Yep, there we go. Simple fix, just reset redstone and that's it. There we go, so that is the time rotor handbrake. And I'm thinking about adding a space-time throttle, or maybe I'll just make the handbrake a space-time throttle. Um, Nah, you know what? Just put that like uh, here or something like that. But that will actually be one of the last components. So let's get to the repeater. Let's do this. Boom. Grab that. Um, We could make this like just over here because it like fits within one block. But I don't know how it'll work with like all the other stuff. Like, will it actually like connect to the repeater? Yeah, there's definitely enough space. Yeah, there is. I'm thinking about like just doing that and like seeing how that works. So delay equals one. Let's do this delay equals two delay equals three and delay equals four uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think there is enough room. So let's just test that with a with a block. So there's that. Uh, no, actually, there isn't. Okay. Let's actually move this. Uh, move it to here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So about here. Delay equals one. The same thing. Delay equals two. Three. And boom. And four. There we go. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Boom, do that. Grab a, another repeater, or not a repeater, another uh, block. So that will be that button on the back of the console. Uh, 0, 65, 11, check this command block here for the coordinates. Uh, there aren't any coordinates, okay. So I guess I didn't add those. Um, yeah, let's actually just get rid of that. Come over here, execute if block u2 stone button hard equals true. Base equals floor. Facing equals, I think this is north. Uh, no, it's east. Okay. There we go. So now that we've got that, let's actually put that right there copy that because we'll be using that about three times over and do that do this time set zero then have a chain command block facing that way because I that's kind of my comfort zone have a chain command block say If, of course, the tell raw command, time under hand rate disengaged, change that to chain and change this to time set to done. And we'll copy that to change the things. So let's do that. Boom. Ooh, there just might not be enough. No, that's going to conflict to that block. Uh, yeah, we'll move it one over. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, and four. Boom. Redstone. Nope. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Copy that. Grab that. Boom. 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 Okay, get rid of that. That. And that times at zero. Let's do have another repeater or comparator. That and that. That's perfect. Let's change that to time set six thousand. Instead of time set to done, that will be time set to noon. I'm up.
be time set to 12,000, I think it was. Uh, let's clear the weather. And time set 12,000. Yep. Okay. Time is set to make this dusk. Then come up once more. Change that to 18,000, which is midnight. Like so. Not time set to done. Not midnight. Midnight. There we go. Keep the comparator in our hands. Boom. Grab this. Boom. Do that. And there we go. So that is the time circuits finally done after like two, three minutes of planning where it would go, like not to conflict to the block. So this here, I press this, the time's been set to done. If I switch it over to a delay of four and press it, the time's been set to midnight and the time changes. However, I like to keep it at noon. And now what we'll do for this button here is grab the coordinates with F3 open, of course. Um, execute if block. Grab the coordinates, stone, button, boom, powered equals, or no, let's actually just do all the other parameters. Face equals, in this case, a all facing equals west and powered equals true. Boom, there we go. So, uh, okay, what happened there? Huh. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is make a T flip flop. A T flip flop looks like so. Uh, let's see how this will work. Yeah, this should work, I think. Let's grab everything that's needed. So there's that, that, which is like a random block in this case, like stone. Um, That. Hmm. You know what? Let's actually extend that by oh, just that much. Um, let's see here. Have a comparator. Paste that command in there. Uh, Grab a repeater too, because a comparator only outputs a delay of one. And we'll do this. And that won't conflict with any other sort of redstone. Uh, at least I think it won't. Like that. Let's grab a chain command block an impulse block, uh, game rule, do daylight cycle, false, instead of time set to done, this will be time stopped, then the game rule, do daylight cycle, set that to true, and that will be Time started. And whenever we press the button on the console right here, this will say time started. And as you can see, time isn't moving. Okay, I must have gotten those command blocks wrong. 
Uh, the answer is... Oh, whoops, that was do entity drops. Okay. Do. Daylight cycle. True. Okay. Now when I press the button, it says time stopped, and the command block works. It says time started, and time is actually moving. And then time will be stopped and set back to noon because I like to keep it to noon because it adds a sort of universal lighting without like any shadows or whatever. Not that I have my brightness set down, but yeah, so that is the time circuits. The weather circuits are essentially the exact same, just on another side of the console like so. So for example, the repeater will go here, button will go here and here. Yeah, it'll be a little different, but so what, it looks cool. Um, and it'll essentially be the exact same premise, just with different coordinates and such. So F3 and D to clear the chat, F3 to open that up, execute, if block, grab the coordinates, repeater, facing equals north, locked equals false, powered equals false, and Finally, delay equals one. Slash weather clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, six zeros for essentially an unlimited amount of time. And these will be basically the exact same just over here. So let's extend this out by like three, or no, two in fact. Yeah, okay. So that'll be the exact same premise on this side and I will get back to you guys when I am finished with that. I mean, I can do it in a couple seconds. So I'm so good with command blocks not to toot my own horn here, but hey, I am. I'm fast too. So there, I got that done in like five seconds. <laughs> anyway, I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back. So what I did was set up the um, weather, con weather controls. So this, for example, would be All right, guys, I'm back. So what I did was set up the weather controls. So for example, this setting here would be rain. It's already raining, but it would say weather set to rainy. And here would be weather set to thundery. And if we head outside, you'll see that it's even darker and it'll thunder in a moment. Just like that. And if we flip this one more time, since there's only three weather settings, it should have set it back to delay one, but it didn't. Weather set to clear. Oh, okay, so just do that. It says weather set to one, or delay setting four has no function, but instead let's actually get rid of that. Do that and that, like so, that and that. Now, all we need to do is just flip the comparator three times, and it'll say setting four has no function. And then here is the exact same premise as the um, time start and stop settings. So just a simple T flip flop right here. Um, yeah, let's actually extend both of these out by like two more blocks 
of redstone and build another simple little T flip flop here and of course grab the coordinates for the button so so slash or nope F3 slash execute if block are the coordinates stone button base equals equals wall facing equals east and powered equals true so we got that and make another simple little T flip flop boom 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 just like stone again that that boom 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 and that actually doesn't conflict with any other redstone like repeaters <clears throat> Uh, let's put redstone on that, add that, that, just do that. Let's grab a impulse block. Uh, nope, nope, not that game rule. Do weather cycle false and Game rule do weather cycle true. This is false. Weather stopped and weather started just like so. Three and D to clear the chat, keep it clean. And what we'll do is this, and that will say weather started, and the weather cycle has actually started. So as a result, there will be constant weather. And it's over here, weather set to true, weather start, and then over here it's set to false. So that means the weather patterns won't do anything, and weather stopped. So yeah that was episode two where we worked on a few more simple little controls episode three we should be able to work finally on the last few controls and a lever which will be placed here which will be the the space-time throttle and i actually quite like this location for it Anyways, guys, my name is Craftman780, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.